So now that we have all four of these heat shrink things on, we're going to actually solder. And the way that we do that is we take one of the wires, it doesn't matter which, and then we take one of the uh, one of these shorter wires, this solid core wire, um, and it's stiffer so it can plug into the battery, uh, the breadboard more easily. Um, and we're going to wrap some of the stranded wire around this solid core wire. And we want this sheath to match this color here. So uh, I have a red wire coming out of the battery pack. This is the motor battery pack, and I'm going to have it attached to a red wire. So I'm going to get it into the helping hands, and then I'm going to wrap the stranded wire around the solid core wire, and I do that like this. Probably from the top is the best. Like that. So I pinched the end of the stranded wire down, and then I wrapped the other, the rest of the stranded wire around the solid core wire. And I want to be very careful with this. I want to make sure that none of the solid core wire is overlapping the sheath. So uh, actually in both directions, I want to make sure that none of the wire is overlapping the colored part. So the sheath is the colored part. So here, this, uh, this little pokey thing goes up to but doesn't overlap the red. Uh, and here the solid core wire goes up to but doesn't overlap this red. And, um...